Hi, Andrew here from Regan Products. In this set of videos, we'll be showing you how easy it is to comply with Technical Bulletin 118, as long as you've got the right equipment and the right information. The first part of Technical Bulletin 118 covers the safety touch test. For this test, I'm going to be using a non-contact voltage detector, the Regan T18, and the Regan XS400 proving unit. First part of the process, we must prove that the non-contact voltage detector works. Then we'll sweep the boiler, covering all extraneous metalwork and any attaching pipe work. We'll also have one last sweep of the boiler chassis to assure there's no voltage present. Then we must prove the tester works again after use. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the essential electrical checks that we need to do to comply with Technical Bulletin 118. The only tester I need for this is the Regan XP5 loop tester. This will allow us to do a loop test, incoming polarity, and confirm our incoming voltage. So nice and simple. First thing I'm going to do is clip on our earth to the incoming earth terminal, making sure we've got a good clean contact. Obviously we're taking care here because these are power on checks but we've got our compliant fuse test leads with finger guards and we'll connect neutral first then connecting our live we take a look at the reading on our XP5 the three green show us we've got the correct polarity the voltage indication says our voltage is within tolerance and if I place my finger over the polarity test pad, it's taking a quick reference to earth, so we know the meter tails are the correct polarity. Next, I'll press the loop test. So this is measuring our earth loop impedance. It's a low current test, so it won't check the RCD. And in this case, we've got less than one ohm, which is a good result. In this video, we'll be looking at the safe isolation part of Gas Safe Technical Bulletin 118. Now we've done all our essential electrical checks, we want to ensure power's off so we can do our fault finding. I've isolated the boiler at the fuse spur, removed the spur, and then fitted a locking off device and a lockout tag out tag. So even if I need to go back to my van to fetch some tools, I'm confident that no one can accidentally re energize the boiler. But now we've locked out at the fuse spur, I need to prove that the boiler's dead. I'm going to be using the Regan XS152 pole tester and the Regan XS400 proving unit. Firstly, I'm going to prove that the two pole tester works. Once I'm happy that it works, I'll do the safe isolation checks. Checking from earth to live, neutral to live, earth to neutral and there should be no indication on any of these checks. At this point we can assume that the boiler is safely isolated but we must prove the operation of the two pole tester again afterwards. Once we've proved the two pole tester works we know we can work on our boiler dead. 